going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Joined here at the start of fight week for the big misfits for its KSI versus Phase Temper by a familiar face, Astrid Wet. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Last time I spoke to you, it was fresh off that big win, your first win against Keeley. Just a few months removed from that now. It's been Christmas, it's been some time. How have you reflected on that win? I, with that fight, I was a little bit frustrated that I didn't get to showcase what I could do. Obviously, it didn't go past the first round. Um, but very, very happy with the win. Very proud of myself. Very happy, everybody who supported me. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, but since then, I've had a bit of time off. I've been to Qatar for the World Cup. Like you said, it's been Christmas, New Year. Um, so I've had a bit of time out of boxing. So at the moment, I'm back in training. Training every day, twice a day, ready for the next fight. Fantastic. And let's just talk about this event. It's huge. It's a pay-per-view, the zone, topped by KSI, who's fronting this whole thing. What are your picks of these fights? Because it's a stacked bill from top to bottom. It is a mental card. I'm very, very excited to watch it to watch it um, unfold. I, it's really hard to predict what's going to happen because I feel like everyone on there is so skilled. They all want the win. They're all hungry for it. You know, KSI always is entertaining and always wins his fights, but he has got a very tough opponent this time. I know obviously he was supposed to fight Dylan. Uh, he pulled out last minute, so Tempers come up, but he was training anyway. It's not like he's joined last minute with no training. He was training for a fight anyway, so it's going to be interesting how it pans out. 100% and I'm sure you've got a bit of invested interest in the female fight obviously Elbrook versus Adaway. It's a, I'm sure you've got the, the winner in your eyesight for the next couple of months just how do you see that fight playing out? I'm very very interested in how it, it pans out you know I'm excited that they've got more girls involved um, I haven't really seen much footage of Elle, so I don't really know how she's going to be. Obviously, she would have improved from her last fight, but then we really haven't seen anything from Faith either. She's posted that small snippet of her on the pads, so which looks very good, but I, we don't know how either of them are going to be, and I feel like that's tricky for both of them because they're going to have to figure out how either of them are going to fight whilst they're in the ring. So, yeah, um, I'm very excited for that fight. For you, are you backing L? Because you, that fight between yourself and her down the line could be absolutely massive. In a few months, maybe a year, this could even headline its own show. So is there a little bit of you that does want L to win? Uh, I haven't really thought about it that deeply, to be honest. I don't really think I mind who wins, because if I'm honest with you, if L loses this fight, then whoever my future opponent is going to be is going to have to be a little bit more challenging than that. So I'm excited to see who wins. Um, I don't know. I didn't know Faith before she was announced, so I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm rooting for her, but I don't really think I'm rooting for Elle either. I'm excited to see both of them do well. I want to see them box properly and just put on a good show. Could we see a little bit of uh, back and forth between you and Elle this week? I'm not really sure. You know, she's here to box. I'm here to do interviews. We're on completely different like job roles this week, so I don't want to get in her way. I don't want to distract her from her fight because I feel like that would be unfair. Um, so yeah, I just want to let her do her thing. We might have a little interview, but I don't. I hope that it's not going to be anything a little bit too crazy. But if it happens, it happens. So that's not going to be a repeat of that uh, press conference uh, <laughs> last year. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Not from my side anyway. From my side, I hope it, get, it kicks off anyway. <laughs> it's good for numbers. The phone, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, just lastly, then, just moving on to you. When can we expect to see you back in the ring? Can't give any dates out just yet, but it will be very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Is there any names that you want to call out? Is there any things being discussed with Mams moving forward? Maybe after this fight week there might be a few names that I want to call out. Depending on the winner? <laughs> possibly, possibly. Excellent. Thank you, Astrid, for very much talking to IFL TV. And I'm sure I'll see you doing my job, usually interviewing throughout the week, and uh, catch up with you again soon. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers. Thank you. I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife for saying 
completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.